that if you look at history, and this is very clearly visible in periods of <coughs> uh, major uh, technological revolutions, we're not just seeing the automation of existing tasks. We're also seeing creation of new tasks, new jobs, new occupations, new skills that go hand in hand. So if you look at the British Industrial Revolution, sure, weavers and spinners and the metal workers were being replaced by machines, but at the same time, new industries were opening a whole host of possibilities, both for <coughs> low-skill workers and for middle skill workers in firms, in clerical occupations, in engineering occupations, in financial occupations, in new factory floors, and so on. If you look at the US history, and same as Europe, but US is quite clear, when mechanization of agriculture was ongoing for a period of about 60 years, when uh, <coughs> over 60% of the US population was in agriculture and it went down to less than 10%, during that time period, we've created a whole host of new occupations and new jobs in very different industries that did not exist. So if you want to think about it this way, the process of automation is being balanced in many of these examples by creating new tasks. But if we are devoting too much resources to automation and not enough resources to the creation of new tasks, then that's going to create the imbalance. And this imbalance is going to have two costs for us. One is that we're not creating new tasks, therefore we're not creating the <clears throat> jobs. But second is that because we have created an unbalanced structure, we're not going to get the productivity benefits either. Take AI, for instance. I think one of the brilliant things about AI isn't just that AI is going to enable via machine learning and other methods to replace tasks, but AI is a platform that can create a whole host of new ways of doing healthcare, education, uh, many of the services. But if all of our effort is going into the machine learning so that we can recognize cat problems on Google or you know, uh, do pattern recognition in order to solve very, very specific problems that humans were solving before, then that's going to be wasting our AI resources and foregoing all of these opportunities for productivity, growth, and job creation. The second possibility is that we are afflicted with many bottlenecks. You don't create productivity by just improving one thing. You need to improve a whole host of things. You need to change your organizations to go along with that. You need to create your institutions to adapt to that. But most importantly, you also need your workers to be able to work with the new technologies. <clears throat> we are in a situation where many companies say today they cannot find the right workers while we're seeing at the beginning I show you the data where many people are unable to find jobs. So this smells very much like a mismatch between technology and skill. And a mismatch between technology and skill means that we are, on the one hand, not able to employ people because they don't have the right skills, but on the other hand, we're not able to find the right workers to fill the jobs, therefore we're not realizing the productivity gains either. 